Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 20, and this is war number 2. And as you can see, we're going up against an alliance called Sentinel Juggernaut's Ultimates. Alright, so I'm taking in my standard team, and I take path 2. You can see that I went in with uh, Warlock, Omega Red, and Nick Fury. That seems to be a really good team uh, for Alliance War. All right, so they've already done the uh, paths to the side there. Uh, you can see uh, on to the right, he hasn't finished his path yet. Usually they wait and then they'll boost up and just do the last node and the uh, mini. All right, so we're going to fight this Black Widow Clairvoyant. And you see the active buffs as well as the defense tactics, stubborn, uh, very annoying uh, global buff there. But the thing about this fight, and you're going to see this in play, that strike counter, it has a couple of different variations. This particular one, when you do the same attack, okay, so I did two uh, heavy attacks, they're going to gain a fury until you fire off a special and reset everything. Now, in this particular fight, you don't gain power normally. You have to wait for them to get a bar of power. So when they get a bar of power, you get a bar of power. And you saw right there, it almost took me out. That's because she's built up a lot of Furies. I hadn't been firing my specials off like I should have. All right, so lesson learned. I'm still getting used to these. Uh, you can try playing that without paying attention to those counters, but then you have to make sure you don't get hit because she's going to build up or whoever you're fighting is going to build up a lot of furies and one hit might one shot you. So I was dazed after that one. I was like, wow. Okay. You know, I learned, I learned my lesson. That was the only fight that we had on that path. And we almost died. If we had died, I don't think I would have been able to live it down. So, uh, on to the next section. All right, so you can see here they've uh, cleared out uh, while I was asleep. And uh, we're going to go up here to section two, and we're going to go to path two again. Uh, our first opponent is Wasp. Now, I want you to pay attention to the buffs on this one. It's a different variation of what we did. So it's still a strike counter, but this one is combat power rate. So let me explain. You see the power drain as well, why this one is more difficult than the first one. So if you try to play this one normally, instead of them building up Furies, you're just gonna keep getting drained of power. And remember, you need to um, fire off a special to get a reset, or else you're just gonna do this fight without any power, all right? Um, you saw I got a little wreck there. Wasp is deceptive. If she gets you um, once with that heavy, ooh, you can get wrecked real quick. Uh, but normally she's not that difficult to fight. Uh, and I already know that I have the real Nick Fury still. So even if she were to, you know, um, bring out the real Nick Fury, that actually would help me out because he's not stunnable. And so her little stun uh, evade thing, uh, or her heavy and uh, stun won't work. All right, so we got her down a little rough. This is the second war of the season, and I'm a little rusty, a little, little rusty. Got to get that uh, dust knocked off of me. And Black Widow Clairvoyant and Wasp seem to do it. Okay, so you saw the buffs we're dealing with. Um, Warlock, he's the only one that's not hurt right now, uh, is a good option for Mr. Sinister uh, the best of times. But remember, the global node also makes a difference in how you have to fight. Okay, so you don't want to do a lot of evading, or if you want to evade, like what you saw me do right there, you want to evade early. See, you're like there again. I'm evading, but I'm not triggering dexterity. Okay, you see that? Because if I did not do that, he's going to get um, an indestructible charge, and then you have to parry him in order to get rid of it. It's just annoying. So I have uh, learned with Stubborn to fight a little bit differently than I normally would, block a lot more. It's almost like I'm having to fight the way I used to fight way back in the day before I learned how to fight. And I have mixed feelings about that. 
You know, the, uh, the style that rewards you is a style that you used to do when you didn't know any better. You know, just block everything, don't evade everything. Um, if you can do the, you know, evade without decks or just remove your dexterity from your masteries, uh, you'll do better. You at least won't trigger that uh, indestructible. But that's not fun at all. All right, so you see there, once I got those uh, infections on him, we were good. Now, I did trigger dexterity there, but I didn't trigger the indestructible. I believe it's because of his infections, but don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. All right, but I, I think his infections do shut down a lot of things. Uh, and I'm still still learning. I'm still learning Warlock. Okay, so we go up to this one. We wave at him and we get out of dodge. Uh, I was the first one here. And uh, when I came back, uh, the call went out. They needed some help on one of the minis. So I said, all righty. Uh, I had uh, the best counter for this. It's Domino. Now, if you guys have been watching me for any length of time, uh, you know how I feel about Domino. I hate Domino. Uh, back in the day, she got she wrecked me, and I was looking for her to be placed on that defense so I could take her out once I learned how to fight her. And just before they changed everything, she did get put back there, and I died because of dropped input. I was too salty about it. All right, but... Uh, here are the nodes that we're going to have to deal with as if Domino wasn't uh, bad enough. You know, brute force, best defense, spry, lovely things, lovely things, limber, all that good stuff. Now, limber shouldn't be too much of a problem when you're fighting Domino because you really don't want to be parrying her uh, if you can help it. OK, you want to do a lot of intercepting um, as much as possible. So this is Domino here. So, of course, I'm going to. Uh, boost up. I'm going in with Warlock. He is, uh, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best counter for Domino. Um, there may be better counters, uh, but as you can see, they were waiting here uh, for me to come for that mini. Uh, I don't think anyone else had brought a Warlock, and uh, Warlock is definitely the one to do. If you haven't seen my videos on Warlock fighting Domino, I actually went up against uh, Domino in one of the variants, and uh, I think it was one that had like a poison, and Warlock just ripped her apart, made it easy. Okay, so we're boosting up here, and um, you know I'm, I'm taking it seriously. You know, even though it's just this one fight, it's still Domino, and I don't want to be the one to die and uh, cost us the war um probably wouldn't have but you know just in case okay so you see here you know first thing i want to do you know counter every time she does a heavy i'm gonna go in there but i want to build up those infections which is why i'm hitting into her block okay and we just keep going she did not get uh lucky all right and we just keep going and now she's infected all right so we should be good at this point you know, it's a little bit of a power drain there with Warlock. Okay, fire up that special two. Eat it up. See her power? See how it's draining? That's Warlock. And I'm already up to another special two thanks to those boosts. Boom. And I'm already almost at another special two. And there we go. She actually blocked that one. But it didn't matter. She was already low, so she was going down. All right. That was it for my participation in the war. Um, we will be back uh, shortly and we'll take a look and see uh, whether we won this war, this first war of the season, or whether we lost. You see they have a Doom boss up there and he is a tough opponent, but we've got some pretty uh, good fighters, all right? So we'll be back in a moment. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. So we are two for two for the season. All right, so that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment, 
let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.